Hi friends, I'm so happy to have you join me. Thank you so much. Today, I am going to be making some Dollar Tree breakfast meals. In the thumbnail, it appears to be three. However, there is actually four. Two of the meals ended up being sandwich meals. And when I put the pictures in the thumbnails, they looked so similar that I didn't want to do that. But I'm telling you now, there's four meals total and even the two sandwich meals are unique. So let me get this camera turned around and we'll get started. I picked up these items to make breakfast. Some of these items I think you may already have so you wouldn't have to pick up such as sugar or oil, vanilla extract, but let's go over these. So we, over here we have the vanilla extract, oil, we have peanut butter and jelly. There's two loaves of bread. You probably can just pick one or the other. We're only gonna need one loaf. I just picked up a wheat and a white for family preferences and then some milk. It doesn't have to be whole, it can be 2%. Or whatever they have in store is fine. Um, then a tub of Cool Whip. Okay, so the fruit, let's talk about the fruit. <laughs> it was in the 125 section, but it did not cost 125. It should have been in the $3 section. I didn't realize it until I had already gotten home. So this actually is a $3 item, not a $1.25 item. Then we have a pack of bacon, a pack of cheese, the margarine that they carry there, eggs, a complete Hungry Jack pancake mix and sugar. So yeah, so you actually only need one loaf of bread and you may already have sugar and oil and vanilla in your cabinet, so you may not need that, but I'm gonna get started with breakfast number one. For this breakfast, you will need half the bag of the fruit, a little bit of vanilla extract, the Cool Whip, pancake mix, and some sugar. First thing we're gonna do is get started on our fruit compote and then we're gonna mix up our pancake mix. To this pan on my stove top, I will add about half the bag of the 20 ounces of fruit. And I measured out three tablespoons of sugar. And I'm gonna add that on there. So now I'm gonna break the, this fruit down and let it cook for a while, a long while. And while we're waiting on that, we will make the pancakes. In my bowl here, I'm going to be mixing up one and one half cups of the pancake mix. And according to the instructions on the back, one and a half pancake mix would be one cup of water and two tablespoons of water. So that's what's going in there now. And then I like to add a little bit, if you, if you have it, a little bit of the imitation vanilla extract into it to give it a little bit extra happy flavors. And I'm gonna eyeball it, but I would say about, for this amount of batter, probably half a teaspoon's good. And this is just optional. the fruit compote syrup is done except I am also going to add a little bit of vanilla into this so go with about half a teaspoon and I, you do this at the end after it's done with heating all right I'm gonna get the cool whip out and then we're gonna put this together so I would say this is enough for two to three servings. And there is our first breakfast. Pancakes with a fruit compote. For 
this next breakfast meal, we'll, I'm going to be using eggs, some of the deli ham, the margarine, the cheese. I'm going to shred that up, some bread, um, and I'm going to use a little bit of milk in my eggs. And optionally, if you would like any seasonings, these are some of the seasonings they have at Dollar Tree, and you can just add those into your eggs if you'd like them. breakfast sandwiches and again I think this makes two to three servings because we still have an egg and some cheese left which I will just set aside but here we are let me cut into it <laughs> We're making the peanut butter French toast and we will need some eggs, margarine, milk, peanut butter, jelly, imitation vanilla, sugar, and some bread. Again, your choice, wheat or white. We got both here, <laughs> but for illustration purposes, I just pulled the wheat out for now. In a shallow dish, I'm going to add in two eggs. Two thirds cup of milk. I like to add a little bit of sugar into it and I put one tablespoon. I'm going to add a capful of vanilla extract. And just a shake of salt. If you have a cinnamon, you can put cinnamon in there. If you want that flavor in there. I do not have cinnamon from Dollar Tree, so I'm not going to be using it. Set that aside, and now we have to prepare our sandwiches. I'm going to be making two of them. When I opened the jam jar up, it was covered with seeds on the top. I put the seeds in this little measuring cup. I'm sure it's fine, right? It's fine. To this pan, I've added both a little bit of oil and margarine, as I read that if you use both, it helps so that the French toast doesn't burn before it's through cooking. All right, so let me just bring this over here so you can see it. That there is our egg mixture, and I'm just gonna slap the whole sandwich in there. Make sure it's covered with our French toast mixture. Let any extra 
and drip off. And then I'm going to put it in the pan. It didn't sizzle, so I might not let it get quite warm enough. But it'll be fine. And then we'll do that with the other one, too. So there is definitely enough batter here to make another sandwich or two. I'm not sure if I took video of the French toast, so here it is. <laughs> There's the inside of it. I was worried in that pan that all the peanut butter and jelly had leaked out, but it did not. For the waffles with the bacon cooked into it, you will need the Hungry Jack Complete Original Baking Mix, one egg, some oil, and bacon. First, I'm going to cook up the bacon, and then we're going to mix together the waffle batter. I'm going to use the rest of the batter or the, the pancake mix that's left to make these waffles. It's one and three fourths cup. One and one fourth cups water. One fourth cup of the vegetable oil. And one egg. We are going to be cooking this along with the bacon in the waffle iron pan. Let me get everything scooched over. There is my waffle iron. I know it's a really big one. It's the only one I got or I'd use a smaller one to do this. I'm going to start by pouring a little bit of the batter in. Then I cut the bacon pieces in half and I'm going to place them in there like that and then I'm going to put more on top but I'm going to go ahead and get the batter in all of these all right it told me it was done so let's take a look can't even see it's hidden in there can you all right, let me get these on a plate. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the batter in here, even though there's no more bacon left, but someone can always eat the rest of the waffles. There are our waffles. Enough as with the other dishes for, I would say two to three servings, especially since we've got some plain ones cooking, but you could top these with any of the things we have, such as the compote, jelly, peanut butter, margarine. Um, the only thing that I don't have from Dollar Tree is syrup, so if you have syrup, you can use that. Let me cut into one of these so we can see the bacon. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice, nice and baked inside. All right, let's do a wrap up of these breakfast items. The first one was the pancakes whipped with the whipped cream and the fruit compote. That was really tasty. I have absolutely no complaints about that. If you don't know, 
I don't know that I've ever mentioned it, but I love whipped cream so much, <laughs> even cool whip. But anyway, it's a highly recommended meal. I really liked it. And uh, fruit compote is a great substitute for syrup for sure. The scrambled egg with the ham and cheese sandwich, that was really tasty. Everybody enjoyed that one. The peanut butter and jelly French toast sandwich, that one was a little bit mushy. <laughs> I would recommend either toasting the bread before you make the sandwich or letting it be a day or two old. Mine I had just bought that morning, so yeah, it soaked everything in. <laughs> it was still had a really great flavor and I was happy that the peanut butter and jelly stayed inside. The bacon infused, is that the right word? I'm not sure. The waffles with the bacon cooked inside, that was a really good combination. It was the, the savory with the somewhat sweet. If you want eggs with it, or that's what I would do. I didn't do it that day, but I would have a medium, an over medium egg and maybe a little bit of syrup, but that's just fine, plain too. It's a great building base. Uh, we ended up, for sweetness, whoever wanted sweetness ended up using more of the fruit compote from earlier in the meal. Yeah, I would say these were a success. Thank you so much for being here today. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.